I've been sort of letting things leak on Facebook and I can now reveal that on October the 11th of this very year, uh, one of the four legendary members of the original status quo will be playing here at Platform 5. John Coughlin the drummer with John Coughlin's quo. I've spoken to him on the phone, uh, he's well up for coming down to Ashford and uh, details will follow shortly but it's very limited, it's going to be up close and personal mm -hmm. obviously because we can only get a few people in in the tent. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, I am chuffed to bits about that, to be honest with you. And so you should be. You should be congratulated. Uh, wow. Well, uh, yeah, for what you do for, for music in Ashford. No, I'm not, I don't do it for that. I just do it because I love music, you know that. Well, you do it for Ashford. Well, yeah. Be, exactly. I mean, That's I'm, what I said. You know, this, <laughs> this is the first time I know that this, this guy and his band who do all the old quote. It's all the, the four, first 14 albums John Coughlin was the drummer on. And he's now rejoined, as you may be well aware, uh, the original, the other three, of, or all four of them have got back together and called themselves the Frantic Four and done the last two years a handful of gigs around the country and sold out everywhere. Yeah. John's a really nice guy. You he's, know him, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to know him very well. He likes to be cross. <laughs> <laughs> him, and his, him and his wife, Jilly. Jilly, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Do you, reckon you can get me a discount, man? <laughs> <laughs> they went to Australia to live for quite some time, maybe 10 years, I, I yeah. don't know, he could confirm that, yeah. but um, yeah, I lost touch with him. Yeah, but, well, well, we can get yourself a ticket, well, in fact, I might invite you. Oh, thank you. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's I, all right, I'll stand outside and I can Yeah, <laughs> you can, I'll be, you can't see. <laughs> but, um, yeah, one of the things, I, 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 he, was, he was brilliant, I spent half an hour on the telephone to him, talking to him, which will go out on a rock hard, I'm trying to get it done for next Tuesday, because I'm on holiday after that, uh, but I'm, I'm trying to edit it down so that I can get this, this showing, but one of the questions I asked him, and I didn't know whether he would answer it or not, was why did he leave status quo, you know, and he was quite open, he told the exact circumstances in which it happened, and at that time he was living in the Isle of Man. And he just went out the studio in, you'll hear him say all this, went out the studio in Switzerland, got on a plane back to Heathrow, got on another plane back to the Isle of Man and didn't touch a drum kit for a year. Ah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, he was really open about it. Anyway, I, have a, I have a parallel with that because when I left ACDC I didn't touch a drum stick for three years. I, now, funnily enough, I read that in this piece of paper as well. But yeah. I didn't want to bring it up, just in case you're a bit, <laughs> bit touchy. Apparently, oh, you resolve. Oh, don't whatever you do, don't talk about it. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> don't mention the wall. <laughs> I did, but I think I got away with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, going back to the Chris Lay timeline, you you asked me to play this because I'm a bit of a, a Uriah Heap fan. Uh -huh. Okay, and you were a drummer in Uriah Heap. Now, yes. I'm going to be dead honest with you. Chris, I'm a fan of the really early, the sort of 19th century. Of course, century. me too, actually. Yeah. Gary Thane on bass. Right, okay. You yeah. probably know better than I do. <laughs> Mick Box has been there for years. He's been there forever. Yeah. He, he was yeah. the originator. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. him and Ken Hensley. Mm. I worked with Ken about five years ago in, in Sicily. Right. Along oh, with Ian old... Pace, actually. Really? Yeah, it was strange. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Doogie White was singing. Right. It was very strange. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look, you've convinced me to play the Chris Slade timeline version of this uh, July morning. I'm very, I'm very proud of it, actually. Good. All right, well, let's give it a listen. This is okay, the timelines version of July morning, originally done by Uriah Heap. Thank you. <laughs> 